Happy holidays, everybody. Hi, everybody. We are playing Never Alone by Upper One Games. He knows this I time. Found that one. <laughs> Uh, so I'm leveling up, people. <laughs> this is with my XP. I'm done. Okay. Well, well, well. So this is going to be part of our our hol holiday winter uh, series. So we're not going to do a full playthrough of this because I think people estimated that this game takes about three hours. We're going to do probably about 45 minutes. Um, and if people want to watch more, let us know, and yeah. we'll finish the the game. Um, but we just wanted to check it out and put it on the show. So yeah, let's see what it uh, has to offer. This it's apparently one of Bunch of awards. What am I doing? Yeah, you're. I'm pointing at you because you're playing this time. Oh, unless there's cooperative, we we think there's cooperative, but we're not sure. Maybe All that's right. Foxtails. I don't really know. All right, let's see what's going on. Foxtails is the deal. I don't have. Oh, well, then you can use this one. We are an Alaska native people who have thrived for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on Earth. Speak up. The Alaskan. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, so God. much sass. I'm just kidding. So this game is, is really cool because it's based on um, Inuit folktale, um, and I, I guess I think it's just folktale, right? Mm -hmm. um, but when this game was first kind of announced that it existed, the uh, internet and the indie game community kind of like freaked out about it because it's awesome. Um, and I never had a chance to check out this game before, but now it's... Finally, have an excuse to uh, buy it and play it. Mm -hmm. I love the style, the art. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. I mean, I didn't even know that it had cutscenes like this, but this is kind of fun. It's very like storybook kind of mm -hmm. feel. <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> wow, they really. Oh, uh, okay. Start you in the. Yeah, this is real danger in my mind. Yeah, I mean... Listen, I don't have your coke. <laughs> okay. No, really. Really. I'm cool. I'm good. It makes me wonder, too. Um, Whoa. I guess, as far as tutorials are concerned... Oh, look at the back. I don't think it's so bad to fail here, either, because it no. just probably starts you back at the beginning. Um, so starting you off in a high-intensity moment is... I don't think it's probably that bad. Mm -mm. It's actually um, one of the best ways to... Like, Thrive in a way. Yeah, it, it keeps like the tutorial actually fun and engaging and actually feels like the game. Mm hmm. No! Oh, oh damn! Uh. It punched you in the back! <laughs> oh, cool. Aww. Yeah! I'm gonna be the fox. Press, Do it. Uh, Press A on the second controller for to you. Switch to fox and. Oh, okay, no, no. so. Yeah, buddy! Um, so this is just you. Okay, so, oh, I think I know what it is. It's gonna be a puzzle. Bam. Oh. There you go. Later, dude. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. and then you died. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I saved you. Oh, my God. I, so cute. I think I'm already in love with this game. This is awesome. This Not is that really I expected cool. it to be bad, but, like... This is really good. So Even far. after the tutorial, I'm like, I feel things already. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Aww. I love, I love how everything oh. looks in this game. She looks adorable. The fox is adorable. Oh my gosh, I just want to pinch her cheeks. I do really like the art, actually. You know, if I feel like if it were me, I might have done the whole game in kind of that like intro animation style with the very storybook kind of feel. Mm -hmm. um, and that's mostly because I'm a 2D artist, but. Um, this is done brilliantly, though. Oh. Tap A to climb wall. <laughs> oh, oh! Rope, and then I climb the rope. Oh, okay, so your character's name is... N Nuna. Nuna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I, I really like the 3D art, especially so, like... Whoa, right okay. there, it's introducing an obstacle. Well, yeah, the wind. And the way to deal with it. Yeah. Shelter. I mean that's I mean that's pretty much how any new obstacle is gonna be, but I think um, the idea is, is that it's presented right now in a, a non consequential scenario. Whoa, okay. Yeah, like this whole section is basically learning new mechanics. Mm -hmm. Um so we got the 
the base down, right? Oh, jeez. Oh. If you hold B, you puddle to the ground. Interesting. Yeah, so now that we've learned all these mechanics... What? Oh, my. That was probably not a good idea. Oh, jeez. I think I just killed us. I thought there yeah, was ice fine. down there, but and then after I jumped, I realized it was the ghosty thing. <laughs> okay. What? Nice. Oh yeah. This is crazy. What did it say that these were? Helpers. But like. Did it name it? Not like, really. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if they're like spirits. Yeah. I. I guess we could be watching some of these little things to kind of learn a little bit more. Um, but for sake of time, I think we'll. Oh, whoa! That's Fox is awesome. Crazy. Okay, Hi. now it's gonna help you. Oh, oh! You Give to... the human the easy path. No, you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? What? Snowflakes go up towards the ledge. It's showing you where to go. I don't understand. There were, understand. It was very, like, very faint, but I saw a couple snowflakes go from the helper up to that ledge. Really? Yeah. Oh. You know, after our playthrough of The Long Dark in the last episode, um, it's like, now I feel even more scared being near this water. Oh jeez. Oh no. Because getting wet in in an Arctic um, environment like this is certain death. Yeah. Or at least damn near close to certain death. Yep. Um. Oh. Ooh. Man, I'm like the ultimate puzzle uh, helper. Oh, okay. There you go. You get real helpers. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, I think that's you. Oh! See? Look at those little flakes. And... Oh, okay, I see what you're saying now. So you go up there and call them, and then I can climb on them. Oh! So you're like the link. That makes a lot more sense, actually. So I'm kind of like a, a spirit fox. I yeah. mean, I think that spirit was... Spirit animal? Yeah! Something like that. Yeah. I guess like... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Because it's like the Inuit version of uh, what would be a spirit animal. Yeah. Although I guess, where do, where do you think spirit animals originated? Was it a Native American thing? Yeah. So I guess it, it really wouldn't it be that crazy to expect Inuit culture to have something similar, right? Right. I know they're not the same, but... I don't know. Uh, well... I know oh, we've played I love a... their little prances when they're in deep snow. I know, right? The fox is the most adorable. Actually, earlier today, before we started recording, I definitely was watching some videos from, I think, oh, National God. Geographic, and it was of some, like, Arctic foxes just, like, lurking around in, in the snow, and then they, like, could hear something scuttling under the snow and just, like, <laughs> headbutt oh. straight into the snow, like, nice. leap up and then face first <laughs> into the pile of snow. It's the most adorable thing. It was, like... A five minute video of just that. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. It's Whoa! fine. It's, I got it. I got it. <laughs> just saying, if you were Mario. Now, you'd have to do like the triple jump thing to get that. Ooh! Do you think there are any like secrets hidden around in this game? Maybe. What? Huh? What? Holy crap. Oh, I wonder if that's what I was supposed to do. Yep. Because now I can do this. It sort Thank of, you, Loon. It sort of reminds me how um, I, you kind of are meant to explore the, the world in, a, like, Limbo, for example. Yeah. Um, and there's lots of little secrets hidden around in that game, too. I don't think they really do anything, um, but it's the same style of gameplay. I wonder if they kind of incorporate the little secrets, too. Oh, cool. The secrets are the, the little owls uh, they give you. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's kind of a nice way of, of like incorporating those secrets into the world. Yeah. Okay. It's, I think we just need to. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that they made this cooperative. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, 
it's not very often that I see a lot of these 2D side-scrolling, um, like, puzzle platforming games involve cooperative mechanics. Um, but this game, it especially feels... it feels right. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, like, the whole concept of the, the fox, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, playing it with a friend kind of, I think, satisf satisfies that even more. Yeah. Uh-oh. We need to go. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, come on, buddy. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh wait, wait. Um Gotta be some way to get up there. Oh, that's how. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, I see. They stay there and then you just keep yeah. throwing more. Oh. Oh, okay. I wonder if that does anything. Or if it's just like... Well, we the Owl Man needed his drum, so we have to bring it back to him. Right, but what I wonder is if... Um, there you go. What I wonder is if like we're going to bring it back to him and he's going to teach us something we can use it for. Mm. Yeah. I like that thought. It could either be very like... Um, I don't want to compare it to a Metroidvania, but like... You know, you gather new items and it allows you to do new things kind of thing, mm -hmm. or the game... Like, I think this game would probably be okay if it stays as just like a a base mechanic kind of game of yeah. run and jump and, and I guess... Running, yourself. jumping, climbing trees, putting on makeup when you're up there. Yes, exactly. Ooh. Alright, we get something cooler. Is this my bula? Oh, that's right! There is... It did mention Ebola in the instructions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aww. It's actually kind of rewarding to see that. He looks so happy. So try, try using that right thumbstick. Nice! Whoa! That jazz is crazy! Do you just like... How does it work? So you hold it behind you, and then jerk the stick in the direction... in the opposite direction. Nice. I kind of like that. I like that mechanic a lot. Ah! Hmm. I got up here nice and easy. That's really cool. That is really cool. Just imagine though, if you had to like twirl the thumbstick to get the bola oh, spinning. Man. Oh. I, are you gonna be able to make new platforms? Uh. Oh. Oh. Spiritual bola. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> My bad. Wow, you know, normally I would criticize you as the worst player, but I've died more times in this playthrough than. I don't think you've died yet, actually. Nope. Eh, whatever. I'm rambunctious. I've noticed. Can't stop oh! this. Whoa, whoa! Okay, don't I guess. Don't you dare. I guess you can't brace yourself if you're facing the opposite direction. I guess the hint with the the snow when the the gust is gonna happen is you see like you know that snow that's kind of like yeah the the overlay. moving across the screen. So it has a wind up to it where it it it's going like from the upper right to the lower left right now slightly. Mm -hmm. Before so the, it does that where it goes the opposite direction. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Before the gust happens, it moves a little bit to the right, and then it just, like, blows to the left. Which is actually really good. That mm -hmm. tells the player that they have that brief second to brace themselves. It prevents the game, that challenge, like, that mechanic of the game, uh, from feeling, like, really cheap and unfair. Oh, you know what to do here. Do I? Oh, maybe it's following me? Yep. No, not quite. Yep. Oh, I have to go. I didn't realize that it connected. Yeah, come with me. Woo! Oh. Jump on there. There we go. Noise. That's really cool. What I like, though, is that if it's ever an extended cutscene, it goes to the storybook thing. This mm. is just a quick... And then that's it. That's true. I mean, it's smarter to do it that way, too, because it's using existing art rather than making whoa, a lot of new art all the time. You gotta use a bullet! Use a bullet! Use a bullet! Oh, God! 
It's always me that dies. Yep. <laughs> well, look at the foxy friend. Mm. Like, it's okay. We're just on an ice block in the middle of the sea. Or the ocean, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll oh. be fine. Okay, so they kind of use this icy texture to, to tell us it's something you can break. Mm. I think that's kind of smart because... It's something that integrates with the world really well, but we only see it in the instances where we want to use it, or we, where we want to break it. Um, so that kind of like repetition reinforces that behavior in the player. That's actually yeah. pretty smart level design um, from an aesthetic sense. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, well, I wasn't rushing. Oh, oh no, 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 you no, 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 Every single time. Sometimes I, like, the jumps are a little hard to time. Yeah. Oh, well, at least it started us off in a, exactly where we died. Wow, okay. Me. You're part of this team. I don't ah. trust any of it. Uh, All right, we're good. We're not. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> no big deal, just a polar bear. You still don't have your Coke, dude. Coca-Cola? Cujo. Yeah, that's what I meant. There's no brand deal here. <laughs> oh, Spirits of the Fish. Oh, shit! Fuck, man! I'm telling you, the jumping is, is weirdly timed. God fucking shit! <laughs> this is- I've been saying this all day, and Cujo got a good laugh at it. He was like, that doesn't even make sense! And I was like, well, technically it's a complete sentence. It's a sentence. complete sentence! <laughs> oh... I thought I could climb it. Ugh. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that shouldn't be funny, oh, but it really God. was. <laughs> the bear like fucking uppercutted you. Oh. You know, I wonder if there was any backlash on this game about um, like the girl getting hurt in this, um, because generally speaking, if there's ever violence toward children in games, you know people freak out mm -hmm. and, and and I I'm certainly not saying they're not justified because they probably should freak out about that right it's violence against children is never really okay oh no oh 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 sign that they were helping us. Alright, well that was intense. Oh, no! Great! I guess polar bears can swim after all. Yeah. And their fur is designed to survive this... Whoa. This water. Good. Stay down there. Stay there. Later, sucker! You wanna slow down? Nah, man. The world's changing all around us. We gotta get moving. Oh. I... Oh. You, I, I, I don't. You know what I think it is that I have issues with the jump, is um. Oh. What? Stay, 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 stay! Oh, oh my, that was game brutal. design element. If you have moving platforms going up and down, there's only a limited amount of time before they go up. Use those spaces. <laughs> Did you die? Oh, you died. First oh death. God, and she's first death, mind you. She's twitching. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know. Always use the space. There's an L out there. I know. I thought that I had a little bit more time. It's fine. I'll just wait here for you, buddy. Actually, we should get that owl. Oh my god. Ow. Elevator up. Oh! I did. Whoa, my goodness. You didn't do the wall jump. You're on ice. I've been wall jumping off of ice already. Why not this time? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That was a little weird. Um, oh, no, 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 no. This is not the death I want. <laughs> this is not the death I want? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, it's the run up the wall. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I feel. Oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's horrifying.
like. <laughs> Alright, so the collision in this game isn't the greatest thing it's in the really world. really funny. Oh, so what I was gonna say is, I think that my issue with the jumping is that there's no cancel animation for the action. So if if the fox is oop, if the fox is getting animated in some sort of movement, um, I can't just like jump immediately. I have to wait for the oh, oh god, no. they totally did that on purpose. Um, I have to wait for the animation to finish before they let me complete the action. Yeah, that that's what's throwing me off. Um, and I mean, I guess like aesthetically speaking, it makes the game look better, mm -hmm. but it makes the game play not as well. Yeah. Oh, Puzzle. come on! Unless there's something I could do. Um, um, um. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, rawr. Oh, God. Jump, 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 jump. I have nothing. There's nothing. I don't know why. Oh. Are you sure you can't jump up there? Oh, God. What else can we even hit? Oh, you pissed him off. Maybe we do have to battle him. Oh. There's something happening. So you can hit him. You have to distract him again. Ow. Damn, there's like no easy way to... Oh, God! Ah! Ah! Oh! I'll end you! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God! <laughs> Uh, one last time. All right, you really gotta help me here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Shit. Not fast enough. Oh, this is intense. It is intense. Uh, uh, oh, nice. Well, at least it brings us back to the last damage point. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, God, oh, God. Damn. Yeah. I don't know why I looked at the camera when I did that. There you go. We're <laughs> <laughs> horrible people. Oh, jeez. I mean, you know. We do what we can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should have died from that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And we're good. It's fine. It's fine. There's got to be something over here. There's always something to the left. Yeah. Oh, there's an owl. I need you. I want you. No, come back. Oh, right. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning. So oh. something that's a little weird is that um, oh. in order to aim in a particular direction, you have to be facing in that direction. So I can't, like, from here, I can't aim behind me. Oh. You are you're, you're fine. Now you ruined it. You blew it. <laughs> we fucked it up, Cujo. I don't know if we have infinite breath, so let's... That is a good question. If they don't have infinite breath, how would you feel about that? Game design-wise. I'd be fine with that. It's a realism thing. It, it, it makes it challenging. I guess that's fair. You? Uh, I don't think they need to have an oxygen amount in this game, because it's not really about the platforming challenge so much as it is... Well, alright then. There we go. So much as it is about the, um... The le <laughs> I say this as I fall out. Not everywhere. so much about platforming. Ch Shh. It's not supposed to be about the challenge of the platform so much as, like, um, knowing what to do or, like, solving kind of the, like, puzzle platforms, you know? Mm -hmm. Wall jump. Can Wall jump. Get down. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Um... And then it comes for me? I don't know. Alright, later. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, can I... Oh, I can control it. Holy shit. I didn't realize. Can you really? Yeah, he's moving based on where I'm standing on him. You can kind of tell because his, his uh, little branchy parts move based on that. I kind of like that the spirits disappear, disappear when we walk away because um, it suddenly becomes a, a very like intuitive timing mechanic. Like I have, mm -hmm. it gives me a reason to do things quickly. Mm -hmm. I feel like 
this game probably plays a lot better in cooperative mode for that reason, though. Yeah. Um, because if you're if you're doing this single player and you're switching back and forth between them, um, whoop, you probably run into the issue where you just have to like switch and then kind of recalibrate and figure out how to get all these guys moving. Yeah. Um, before you run out of time. I think this game is fantastic. It's not overly complicated. Uh, the physics in the game makes sense. Till you know, the weird... Oh, you need to hit it. Yeah, I mean, the, I have m the weird issues with the animations, um, and I think that just comes down to it being an intuitive thing. Yeah. Um, which is why I pretty much always believe in having animation cancels, or cancel animation mm -hmm. uh, systems in place for just to like give you better game feel, you know. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's okay. It's it's really not damaging for the uh, overall experience. Um, what I really do appreciate is that this is a big cultural homage to the Inuit, uh, the Inuits. I mean, as far as we know, right? Like, I mean, that's why it has a good reception. I feel like if it did injustices to the Inuit culture, it probably would have had a lot of backlash. Well, and we um, haven't really explored it, but insights are like, you, you learn stuff about how the Inuits did things. Like, it, it, well, it gives I think you an extra little bit of history. It's, it's probably talking more in depth about the lore. Yeah, and I think um, that's wonderful. I think in a game yeah. like this, that's that's fantastic. Um, I love... The, the models, I love the art, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really see any major glaring issues. At one point, the, the fur on the polar bear looked a little funky for a second, but that's whatever, it's not yeah, that big of a deal. Yeah, that's one of those minor things. Uh, the character designs were awesome. Mm -hmm. I love the, I want a plushie of the fox. Uh, and I want a plushie of Nuna, too, because she is adorable, too. Um, the I, I, I really do like this game. It's like, um, like, it, it's... I know it's supposed to be like a sad like a there's a lot of challenges that this girl and this fox go through so it's supposed to be like a it's supposed to be dramatic and stuff like that but it still f has a little bit of like hope attached to it more so than like Limbo or any other game similar to Well yeah Limbo was just done. straight up dark and depressing and messed up and awesome giant spiders The the thing that I'm happiest about this game though is that aside from it being both beautiful uh, interesting, aesthetically fantastic, and you know, all those other things that Kujo rattled off. It's also fun. Like yeah. it's it's got really good level design. Um, the puzzles are interesting. The game plays well, um, and it's 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 challenging. It's it doesn't ever yeah. feel too. Uh, it doesn't too really hard. feel like every, anything's really repeated. Either. No, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. things things get um, switched up enough in each level to where you don't, like, feel like everything's a rehash. There was never a point where, like, the difficulty curve went from, like, here to here or anything like that. It was very steady. Um, it was challenging. Um, but what I like about this game is that it wasn't hard. Right. It, it never felt like it got so hard that it was unfair, and it right. never felt so easy that it was boring. Final thoughts? No, I've pretty much already spoken my piece, too. Question okay. of the day, though... Um, this is on you. I so, so my question <coughs> for you guys is, um, what do you think about a game like this that tries to kind of integrate a, a culture or, or sort of a lore, a, a, like a real world lore into the game to kind of share that story and experience? Um, obviously we didn't dabble too much into it because we didn't watch the insights, but do you think that they were successful in kind of giving us a bit of that, that lore in, in that um, that culture in this game. And if you were to develop a game under similar pretenses, how would you do it? Mm -hmm. yeah? I like it. Cool. Feel free to answer that question down in the comments section. Uh, feel free to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from us. Yeah, and, and we're open to playing the rest of this game too, so just let us know if you want to watch more. Um, we're, we just wanted to include this in our yeah. Little holiday winter collection. So, take care of yourselves, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays. <laughs> ah. It's that moment where you're like, I can't, I can't, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, you can't the say end, anything. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs>